it's D. Hey y'all, hey, it's D. So, I got a YouTube check in my birthday month. So, if you wanna see what YouTube pay me with less than 1,500 subscribers, hey, stay y'all, it's D. So, yeah, um, I'm so, so excited to get another check from YouTube. This will be my third check since I got monetized. Um, the last time I did receive a check was in April and that was my late mother's birthday. So now I'm receiving a check in my birthday month. So I thought that's pretty cool. I got a check in her birthday month and I got a check in my birthday month. Uh, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my members, my subscribers, the people who watch my channel, the people who donated supers. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. Most of this money did come from X, and then next was my members, and lastly was the super. So yeah, y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for watching the ads on my videos. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I would eventually like to shorten the time span in between checks. The ads revenue is going up a little bit, so I'm very, very appreciative of that. And I did gain a couple members between April and September, so that's going to help. So, yeah, y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for everything you do to support me here on my YouTube channel. So, let's get into how much I was able to make and... I will break down how I am going to. Oh, okay. this is my YouTube paycheck budget that I do use to allocate these funds. And let's just get into it. So because I never know how much I'm going to get, um, it has to be at least $100 before YouTube pays you out. And I was able to earn a total of 104.61. So that is what I will be budgeting today. 104.61. I will be going to my bill section. And the only thing in my bill section is I'm going to put an extra principal payment towards my mortgage. If you are new here i am on a journey to get my mortgage paid off by the end of 2025 and today i will be putting a total of 15 dollars towards my mortgage principal and that is it for the bill section so i started out with 104.61 minus 15 dollars and i have a total of 89.61 left to budget next I will be going to my expenses section and in this section I will be allocating a total of five dollars to my estimated taxes savings account that I have and that will be it for this section and take away five and I have a total of $84.61 left to budget. I will be getting into my savings and investing section. And today for this section, I will be putting a total of $5 towards my Treat Yourself account. Seven challenges will be getting a total of $10. Investments will be getting a total of seven dollars. Patient will be getting a total of two dollars. Vehicle essentials will be getting a total of five dollars. And the remaining of the money, which is the bulk of it, will be going towards my HD brand, and this will help me pay for my PO box that I have to renew here in November and it will be here before you know it. So basically right now I'm making just enough to pay for annual PO box renewal. After that, then I divvy up the money that I have left over towards different categories that are important to me at that time. So let's divvy up this savings and investing section. So there's two plus five, plus 5, plus 55.61, plus 10, plus 7, 
equals a total of $84.61. And if you remember, that is what I had over here. So I have a total of $0.00 left to allocate as you see i try to do the responsible thing and i put some money towards debt i put some money towards taxes my special funds account and as i stated most of it went back into my brand so yeah if i get and when i be able to get more checks then i will be able to do more stuff but until then i have to make sure that um, my p.o box is paid for the year Alrighty, so next I will be getting into the breakdown, which helps me make sure that I have a zero base budget. And this is just my personal preference. So I started out with 104.61. My bill section got a total of $15, which was my extra principal payment. My expenses section got a total of $5, which were taxes. And my savings and investing section got a total of $84.61. So let's see if I actually do have a zero base budget. So 104.61 minus a 15 minus a 5 minus the 84.61. So yeah, yeah, that is a zero base budget. I am very, very appreciative of this income that I am able to receive. There was a time that I had to pay for my brand expenses with my side income, and now I'm able to pay for my brand expenses with my YouTube check, and I am greatly, greatly appreciative of that. My biggest expense I have is my pill box, and they keep going up on the pricing, so hopefully, here in the future, I will be able to get some more checks. So yeah, y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for supporting my channel. However you choose to support my channel, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It is very, very cool that I got an extra paycheck in my birthday month, yeah. yeah. So y'all, if you made it to the end of this video, let me know how long have you been subscribed to my channel and if you don't know that let me know what is your favorite video that i post on my channel all right y'all don't forget to make the money but don't let the money make you and i gotta go edit this video because i gotta post this video in two days all right y'all i'll see y'all the next one bye